Depreciation is a fundamental concept in accounting and finance, representing the gradual reduction in the value of a tangible fixed asset over its useful life. This decrease in value occurs due to wear and tear, usage, or obsolescence. Understanding depreciation is crucial for businesses as it affects financial statements, tax calculations, and investment decisions. So, what is depreciation? Depreciation is the process of allocating the cost of a tangible asset over its useful life. Tangible assets, such as machinery, vehicles, buildings, and equipment, lose value over time as they are used. Depreciation reflects this decline in value, ensuring that financial records accurately represent the current worth of the company's assets. Let's discuss the importance of depreciation. Accurate financial reporting. Depreciation ensures that the value of assets on the balance sheet is realistic. By spreading the cost of an asset over its useful life, companies can avoid overstating their assets' value and provide a more accurate picture of their financial health. Tax benefits. Depreciation is a non-cash expense that can be deducted from taxable income. This reduces the amount of taxable profit, resulting in lower tax liabilities for businesses. Investment and budgeting. Understanding depreciation helps businesses plan for future investments and replacements. By knowing when an asset will be fully depreciated, companies can budget for new purchases and avoid unexpected expenses. Methods of depreciation. Several methods can be used to calculate depreciation, each with its advantages and applications. Number one, straight line depreciation. This is the simplest and most commonly used method. It spreads the cost of the asset evenly over its useful life. The formula is, depreciation expense is equal to the cost of asset minus residual value, divided by useful life. For example, if a machine costs $10,000, has a residual value of $1,000, and a useful life of nine years, the annual depreciation expense would be. Depreciation expense is equal to 10,000 minus 1,000 divided by nine, which is $1,000. Two, declining balance method. This method accelerates depreciation, allocating a higher expense in the earlier years of an asset's life. It uses a fixed percentage of the asset's book value at the beginning of each year. The formula is, depreciation expense is equal to book value at beginning of year multiplied by depreciation rate. For example, if the machine mentioned above has a depreciation rate of 20%, the first year's depreciation expense would be, depreciation expense equals to 10,000 multiplied by 0 0.20 equals to $2,000. Three. Units of production method. This method bases depreciation on the asset's usage, making it ideal for machinery or equipment. The formula is depreciation expense is equal to cost of asset minus residual value divided by total units of production multiplied by the unit produced. If the machine is expected to produce 100,000 units over its life and produces 10,000 units in a year, the depreciation expense would be Depreciation expense equal to 10,000 minus 1,000 divided by 100,000 multiplied by 1,000 equals to $9,000. Number four, sum of the years digits method. This accelerated method is based on the sum of the years of an asset's useful life. The formula is depreciation expense equals to remaining life divided by the sum of the years digit multiplied by cost of asset minus residual value. For a five-year asset, the sum of the year's digits is 5 plus 4 plus 3 plus 2 plus 1 is equal to 15. In the first year, the depreciation expense would be depreciation expense equals to 5 divided by 15 multiplied by 10,000 minus 1,000 equals to $300. If you find the video helpful like it, it will be helpful for my channel. Let's move on to the factors affecting depreciation. Cost of the asset. The initial purchase price, including all expenses related to making the asset ready for use. Residual value. The estimated value of the asset at the end of its useful life. Useful life. The expected period over which the asset will be productive for the business. Depreciation method. The chosen method affects the allocation of depreciation expense over time. 
Impact of Depreciation on Financial Statements 1. Income Statement Depreciation is recorded as an expense, reducing net income. 2. Balance Sheet Depreciation reduces the book value of assets over time, reflecting their declining value. 3. Cash Flow Statement Depreciation is a non-cash expense and is added back to net income in the Operating Activities section as it does not impact cash flow directly. Conclusion Depreciation is a critical accounting concept that ensures accurate financial reporting, provides tax benefits, and aids in investment planning. Properly accounting for depreciation allows companies to present a realistic picture of their value, ensuring transparency and reliability in their financial statements. If you want to read it in detail or download the PDF, go through the link in the description.